Hello there, fellow chief of the Have you here? It's 6 a.m. in the morning. I woke up um, around 4.30 a.m. and I couldn't keep sleeping. So I've been watching some videos, checking email. So I'm planning to make a video response. So if this video turned out to be a bit longer, my apologies. And I'm gonna get out of the way a couple of things that I had that I wanted to include. Uh, the first of them and why I'm not smoking is because I'm gonna open a, a tin. I, some of you know that I dislike the idea of having too many choices and perhaps that's why I haven't opened any of these three things of, of 7C, Macbeth 7Cs. I tried this one thanks to James Astroman um, 2112? 1221, I'm sorry, James. Um, because he sent me a pouch of this one and I asked Kevin, a friend of mine, um, and he brought me this, I think from Ivan Reyes in Chicago. But this morning I, I felt uh, I would like to try it and I'm gonna take the opportunity as well to to put it in one of these little jars that I have uh, to show the Wandering Recluse. Um, these ones are like my day-to-day -day smoke and then I have these ones right for instance this is Epiphany um, that I don't open often so I just transfer from these to the small ones and the smalls are the one that I open so I'm not gonna lose moisture and I have a, a bigger one in which I put several different uh, aromatics in this case that I have and they're either too little to put in, in these ones or, or whatever I'm going to smoke a Seven Seas Gold Blend from McBurns and I'm gonna save the tin because Kevin asked me to save the tin and I'm gonna put it in this in this small one so let's see if I can figure it out uh, in the meantime it's easy to open <laughs> it does not seem too easy by the way um, in the meantime uh, I would like to give my, the, my own response to to the video that I that I that I posted about religious tolerance and I've been very interesting in smell I gotta tell and um, I've been enjoying many of your responses and comments and I I appreciate it I promise you in the controversy series uh, it's, it's very easy to go with religion because it, uh, it that's almost a, an instant polarizing topic but it's not gonna be like that I, I just already I already have like seven or or more different polarizing controversial topics that are not religion related per se but in the in the topic on hand on religion, religious tolerance I, I share the view that many of you have expressed and nice really really nice and very light color and let's see um, I I think I'm, I'm extremely welcoming to different people with different religions because I like to I like to learn I like to know about different religions I I wouldn't say that I have a strong background in any 
but I, the one that I have studied the most, of course, is uh, Christianity. Due to for, well, first, you're as a Colombian, you're very familiar with the idea, although most of Colombians are Catholics. But my father is um, is a Christian pa pastor, retired. In smoking my in Europe pipe later I read the Bible of course but I enjoy as well discussing and learning about the Quran Buddhism Mm, you name it. I have very dear and close friends across all religions that I can think of. Even the very particular and weird ones. Well, if if you with all the respect that they deserve, of course, like witchcraft and and pagan beliefs and, and I'm not using that term lightly uh, that's how they call themselves and and I think the key point of tolerance in that case is approaching as I wrote to I don't know I don't remember to whom but um, I understand that um, the um, the belief that one person may have a very very smooth tobacco will make him think that he's ultimately right but I think a, a very important approach based on respect it's um, getting into a discussion and not an argument uh, with perhaps not the belief but with the attitude of the other person might be right and that works with anything in life I like this tobacco that's the first smoke now let's put it here now David, um, the pipes right, uh, put um, in his in his latest video uh, put a question up there. In what will be the latest major event that changed changed you? And I deal with change because I have to. Uh, I don't like change. And I think I have shared this before. That I'm not a big fan of change. But change is good and I, and, I, and I know that. But I'm not a big fan of change. And as such, oh my goodness, this it brings more than I expected. <laughs> um, as such, um, I would say that the biggest, the latest biggest change that I had was the fact that um, I moved out abroad, right, from Colombia to South Korea. And hey, no kidding, I think it's too much. Darn. Make it fit. Um, <laughs> this is gonna be tricky and finishing my graduate studies that has changed me in so many levels um, it had built confidence um, it had made me a lot more humble than I have ever was and, and bear in mind that in when you go into science, especially in math, you kind of get sick of people saying like, oh, you have to be a genius. And 
and that start getting into your head people saying like oh you have to be a genius which I assure you I'm not and that's why it's so hard for me to study um, yeah it's kind of thing and it made me a lot a lot more humble than I have ever been in my entire life it, it made me this experience as well got me the closest that I have ever been into a spiritual sense and religion and also at this not at the same time but later on drift me away as I have never been apart from religion so it's a very interesting um, change in both respects look at that huh. could have done better and to finish to close the lid and then you put a little bit of masking tape with the name and this is seven c's gold seven c's gold you put it there and you're all set Okay. I have no idea how long this video turned out to be. I'm, I'm sure it was pretty long and my apologies for that. If you hang around the video this long, uh, you probably has not, have nothing better to do. So, sorry for you. As always my friends, bye away.